It's time for another XCOM 2 Worse Than Failure. This is episode 20. So, let's get started. We have two squads getting ready. They're not nearly infiltrated yet, so won't worry about that. Oh, okay. We have dark events. We don't know what any of them are. Uh, so that's great. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can't make contact yet because we don't have enough supplies. Or we don't have enough supplies to build a resistance communication station. So I guess we could just scan. Where would be the best place to scan? Let's try there. For Western United States. Okay, time to scan. You got a new guerrilla operation. Uh, this will give us Alex Jones, an engineer. Huh. Well, I guess. Okay. So let's pick a squad. You got this squad. Okay. And this squad includes a spark. So. We're going to have our spark in our, its first mission. Well, its first mission after the tutorial for sparks. Okay. Do we have anyone else we want to send? No. Okay. Let's start infiltrating. Okay, let's keep scanning. Got another guerrilla operation. This one is a new a soldier. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, we've got our squad. Uh, we do not have any med kits in this squad. That's not good. Let's give somebody a med kit. Give Blakey Rat a med kit. And... Yeah, let's also give Fenton Ryu a med kit. Okay, we got two nano med kits on there. Uh, start the infiltration. Hopefully we can get some supplies and then make a resistance communication. And then we can expand to more than three areas. Let's go back and scan some more. We have our specialist trained. Okay. So... We've got one day left until the Proving Grounds Venom. Uh, we've got three days until Alien Encryption. We've got four days until this debris is cleared. And then everything else is pretty far away. Uh, we have recruited somebody. So let's go to the Resistance Management. There's our recruit. And we can set them as... Uh, let's have them recruit people. Actually, let's have them... Let's have them collect supplies. Because we are really low on supplies right now. Okay. We've got Venom Rounds in the Proving Ground. Let's check if the Proving Ground has anything useful that we can make in it. Uh, suppressors we could do but we could probably do better with a spark so let's wait until we have some supplies and we've built the resistance communications uh, we don't have anywhere that those gremlins could go I'm gonna take this engineer out of there oh I can't until I take the gremlins out okay so we're gonna have the gremlins no longer work there and we can take this engineer out of the workshop and we can put them clearing this debris. 
and then hopefully when this debris is cleared we'll have oh yeah it'll give us 74 supplies that should be enough to build something okay keep scanning the outcome of this research can only further our advances commander okay we've got alien encryption before we can even begin to attempt decrypting the alien data stores, we must first come to understand the means by which they protect their most valuable data. It was immediately clear that aliens do not rely solely on conventional algorithms, but instead use a complex matrix of interwoven biological structures as part of the cipher itself. An additional layer of protection is afforded by an ongoing field of psionic interference tied directly to the advent network itself. If we're to have a chance of defeating the multiple safeguards the aliens have in place, it's likely we will have to design specialized equipment to isolate each layer of encryption before we attempt to press on with our investigation, our Tigan. So we can build the shadow chamber. And let's see, what what could we improve? Uh, resistance radio, nine days. Psionics, 10 days. Faceless autopsy, eight days. Let's go with resistance radio. Or actually, no, let's go with psionics. Then we can have some psionic troops. That'll help. New objective added. So now we have to construct the shadow chamber. Where am I going to put that? I think I'll put it here because we don't need any engineers for it. Let's wait that one day. I would suggest we begin immediately. Okay, did we get the day? No, we still haven't cleared the debris. I did notice some recruits. There we go, we've cleared the debris. We can't build the shadow chamber because we don't have enough supplies. Uh, we don't have enough supplies for resistance communications either. Uh, we could put those engineers here. One of them goes here. Uh, we could put the other one at the workshop. Put the other one at the workshop. And then we can put the two gremlins in. And we can build a spark. So there's our spark. We'll get started right away. So that'll be in five days. Send word when the project is complete. All right. So we're getting to 100% on a bunch of these. Oh, I should go in and... I need to set the resistance people to not be hiding. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, Haven's at his job limit, so I can't set them to not be hiding. All right. Here we go. All right. You got a smash and grab mission. Operation War Dance, here we go. Come on. There we go. So we're going to go in, we're going to grab as much as we can, and we're going to leave. Hopefully this will go pretty straightforward, and hopefully we'll have enough supplies to build something when we're done. Here we go. So we're going to break in, grab as many supplies as we can, and leave. So it's marking the supplies one by one. I think there's one thing of supplies for each soldier I bring. I think that's how it works. Or maybe there's less, because I think I have more soldiers than there's supplies. All right. So that timer in the upper right is not 
a failure timer. It is the amount of time until the aliens start sending in reinforcements. So I can have that end multiple times and still be able to complete the mission, but it gets harder each time. Let's start moving our soldiers. On your order. We are concealed, so we don't have to worry. Oh, are we concealed? We are not concealed. Okay. So we do have to worry about the enemies seeing us. Or about the timer going down, I should say. Uh. Still no aliens, but I guess they would have seen us already if they could see us in those positions. Put somebody up here on the roof. And see some civilians. Yeah, that's good. Moving out. Okay. Got it covered. And last person here. All right. Now it's the alien turn. And we can't see any of them yet. So there's our escape. And the supplies are all over here. So I don't have to worry about that civilian. Assuming they're not a faceless. Yep, they are not faceless. And I also don't have to worry about that door, because opening that door by running through it won't actually alert the aliens any more than they're already alerted. Adventure. And there's the aliens! Okay. So we've got a sectoid and a drone. And there's another drone down there. Alright, let's see. Can we hit them? Yes, we can hit them with a sniper. But let's hit the drone. Here we go. Missed. Okay. Enemy is still up. Start moving people to places where they can hit the enemies from. I don't think this soldier is close enough to be able to do that on this turn. Go, go, go. All right. The Shinobi does have to worry about being seen because they are currently concealed. All right. That looks like a good place. Go, go, go. All right, alien turn. There's, oh, there's a, I think that's a trooper. Huh. Sectoid's gonna mind control someone, I think? Or it's gonna try, at least. Nope, it panicked them. Okay. So that soldier's just gonna hunker down. I have to be very careful not to destroy the supplies. Okay, let's see. Who can I hit? Oh, it's a scout. I wonder what scouts do. Uh, is that cover? Let's see, that is not cover. Oh, because of the drone. I guess I could go for the scout. Oh, but if I have, if I hit the sectoid, I have a 100% chance to hit. Let's do that. Okay, the drone saw me, that doesn't matter. Okay, got some loot there as well. See what that is. I got an advanced suppressor. 
Okay, I'm no longer panicked because I killed the, or the soldier is no longer panicked because they killed the sectoid that panicked them. Uh, move up and then attack the drone. Oh, I could also, no, I can't attack the scout. Okay, let's attack that drone. Okay, drone's down. See if the sniper can get anything. Well, they could try hitting the drone. Let's see. That worked. So my goal is to get rid of as many enemies as I can and then start moving forward. And hopefully I'll be able to grab the supplies and leave before the enemies, like they send in more enemies. Okay. So. Can I actually attack the scout on this turn? Don't think so. But it's probably best if I move forward more. Let's go there. All right. And once again, I can't attack the scout, so I'm going to move as far forward as I can. All right, let's see what the scout does. They're going to run back. Okay, that's all they're going to do. Uh, the shinobi's already inside the building, so let's have them do some scouting. Uh, we can go here and grab this loot. See what's in that crate. We got Advent Resource Cache. Oh, right, because we don't know what it is until we finish the mission. So the Shinobi can't... Uh, can't grab another supply crate. Let's just move them out of the building now. Let's start moving more people towards the building. Uh... I really don't want to send people in if the scout is still able to see them. I don't think it is. Let's be safe. See, there's a crate over there. Okay, I'm gonna move the sniper because I don't think they'll be able to see anyone and I need them to pick up some supplies. And over here we have Obesely Morbid. Okay. The alien's gonna do anything that we can see? Oh, there's an officer. And I think that's a normal trooper. In addition to the scout we already saw. Oh, there's a sectoid and a muton. Ooh. These mutons seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the alien's front line, though. Okay, so now I've got people on pretty much every side. So I've got to start moving faster. Okay, that not going to work. I don't think I can flank the muton on this turn. See what we can do. We're not going to have a very easy shot at any of them. 
go here. That'll at least protect us from the muton. And we can throw a flashbang. It will not hit that direction. And it will not hit in this direction. Okay, can we use the hollow targeting? Won't help. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay. So, we're going to have a pretty hard time attacking either of those with a weapon. But we can flashbang them. And then they'll both be disoriented. There we go. Uh, we can't hit the scout very easily from this side. We could try running in here and grabbing those supplies. Let's see. Oh, we could flank. I think that's a flank. Yeah, that is a flank. Let's flank that soldier. Is that an officer? That is the officer. Okay, we got the officer flanked. There we go. Oh, it did not kill it. Huh. Interesting. Okay, the Shinobi. We need to find which one is the best to attack. If we go here, we're in attacking range of both of those. We can hit the Sectoid, but then the Muton will be able to see us. Uh, we could try this one. I think this is actually our safest spot. Let's do that. So that's the scout, I believe. Okay, scout is down. X-ray neutralized. I wonder what the scout's ability is. Probably best that we take out that officer. Okay, that's not going to work. Can we shoot a grenade? We could try a flashbang that, that won't reach. That's not going to work. Let's just go into Overwatch. Okay. Next person. Is there anything on the roof? Yes, there is. Okay, let's get up on the roof. Okay, let's see what the aliens do. The officer's trying to move. He did not succeed. What did you expect? The trooper is moving. Even though that was a flank, they missed. And now that they're in that cover, I can attack them without having to worry about... Oh, okay. Two damage. That, that was just the shield, though. And here comes the sectoid. An overwatch. All right. Let's see what we can do on this turn. Uh, right here, I'm going to grab the supplies. All right. I have the asset. Let's start moving this soldier out here. Oh, that'll over that'll hit the overwatch. So oh, where's a good place? You go here. Copy that. Complete opposite of the direction I was going to go, but it'll work. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, the sectoid is overwatching. The muton is probably not going to die if we shoot it. It'll probably not even get hit. But since the sectoid and the muton are so close together. We can now shoot a grenade and hit both of them. And that did a lot of stuff for us. That shredded the Muton's armor. That removed the overwatch from the uh, sectoid. That's pretty good. Go over here. We'll grab those supplies next turn. Let's see, who can we get? Uh, let's get rid of this trooper. Ah! 
I heard loot. Got some loot. See what it is. Hostile target down. I've located target assets. We got an advanced auto loader. Target package secured. Okay. Who else do we have left? Uh, we need to get in there and get those supplies. We've got all the soldiers, with the advent soldiers that were on that side down. Uh, over here, we're not going to have very much luck because we won't be able to get over to them in one turn. But let's get ready to grab this loot. Actually, we can move here and then we can grab that loot instead. And that'll let us let somebody else who's closer grab this loot. Okay, we've got our sniper. I could move the sniper here. I need to have a clear shot at both of the, the enemies. We can only use the pistol this turn. We have to pick. I think the sectoid's going to be better just because it has higher chance to hit. It won't kill either one, so... There we go. Okay. We can grab this loot right now. Okay, I think that's two advent resource caches left. Yeah. Which means we don't actually have to have everybody get loot. Okay. Let's start moving out. out. We've got 11 turns before the reinforcements come, so we're fine. Oh, they're no longer disoriented. This could deal a lot of damage. Or it could miss completely. That's great. Taking fire over here. Okay. What's the sectoid going to do? It's going to try a mind control. Did it do anything? Okay, it panicked. Okay. So, let's start with the stuff we were planning on previous turn. We can grab this. And then... Oh, there's one more on the roof. Oh, it's this one. Okay. So, I believe we've grabbed all of the loot now. Target asset located. Which means we can just start marching people towards the exit. And as long as we can get those two soldiers out... We don't even need to kill those, the sectoid and the muton. Probably easiest if we do kill at least one of them, though. There we go, the muton's down. I heard loot. There's loot. I've located target assets. Okay. Where is the exit? The exit is here. Okay. Oh, here. Just marching people out of the building. Not a problem. Move, move, move. So I believe that sectoid is the last enemy standing. Okay, they dealt one damage. So that I believe is the first damage that actually got dealt to health this mission so let's do this simple got one health we have a hundred percent chance to hit regardless of how much damage we do we're gonna kill it okay and then we can come over here and grab this loot and we can just leave so we got an illyrium core that's great we're going to need three of those to make the decryption thing. It done. So, let's just start evacuating people. Pack 
Taking it Avengers, in. this is Firebrand. Package is secure. 10-4. I'm all over it. Roger that. Will do. I'm going. Okay. So, if I'm correct about this, there shouldn't be... Yep, there's no alien activity. Good. Moving to position! Heading home! Already there. Go, go, go! Double time! Okay. Looks like we had one person slightly wounded and everybody else is fine and we got all the loot. Got it covered. Let's go. All right. Got it. I think that's everyone. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. There we go. Operation War Dance. We didn't miss a single shot. Huh. I don't think that's true. We did miss a shot. Maybe it counts the grenade as multiple hits. in the field have certainly encouraged the crew okay we've got a new rank for the technical we haven't really used flamethrower or rocket that much so let's go with suppression and we've got a new rank for the sniper uh let's go with death death from above or no let's go with yeah, let's go with Death from Above, because that gives us a long-range accuracy bonus. Let's do that. And we've got... Oh, no supplies this time, huh? Well then. Arc's coming in four days. And... I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, see you next time.